Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Welcome to my top 5 best week 1 upgrades. And I thought I'd do this because I've actually had a chance to play with some of them now. And some of them really, really surprised me. Like, in fact, a lot of them really surprised me. Because they were a lot better than I thought. And the ones I thought were good weren't as good as I thought. And here is my top 5. Now, if you do need to get some Microsoft points or some PlayStation Network codes, definitely check out G2A.com, TBY3. We get you some money off at the checkout as well, but we've got some runners up, and these are just players I really think are really nice to have in teams now. You got Cancelo and Leon, who are now rare cards. Cancelo was actually a silver card, a rare silver card, so that's awesome. Like those two are actually really good fullback, and Correa is a brilliant strike. If you haven't used him yet, give him a try. But number five is going to be Godardo, and this guy is spot on. For the 4-3-2-1 formation. Throw him in at centre mid. Probably on the right hand side or the left hand side. I wouldn't really use him for the holding spot. Simply because he is a little bit shorter. But his passing is great and his defending is actually really good. So having him on the sides will help out against those really quick pacey wingers. Because he's also really fast himself. Which is excellent. But generally speaking I was just so shocked. And he's actually quite cheap. He's about 35k. I really really was impressed with him in game. Number 4 is Slimani. He is so good with a pacey striker. Admittedly, kind of hard to work him in with like a hybrid because you've got the fairly difficult league and the nation. It does make things difficult, but 99 heading. If you want, you can throw him up as a lone striker. He will do absolutely fine because his strength is just monstrous. He's super tall and you can really have him as a target man. But in a two-striker formation, he does seem to work a lot better. Number three, we're going to go with Martial. And he's actually pretty well-priced for a BPL in form, especially a striker. He's about 40k, which is really good. His top speed is always like, I think he's got 90... No, it's 83 acceleration and 88 sprint speed. So once he gets going, he is absolutely rapid. Admittedly, not the greatest long shots. But generally, a really nice card. Number two is going to be Vardy. And I actually really wanted to hate this card. I really did. Because he's pretty overpriced for like his card. Like, it's a 75 rated gold card. He has got great stats. But he was phenomenal. So much better for me than his record breaker. I didn't think his record breaker was that great. But this card was exceptional. And I, I kind of really wanted to hate this card. Because it was very expensive. But it is definitely a very solid card. Number one is going to be Godin. And this actually stunned me. I, I've... See, things with centre-backs, like, you don't really notice them being amazing unless they do something outstanding. This guy is actually the best centre-back in the game for me. He was so... Like, his positioning was ridiculous. His heading was unbelievable. I think he scored me five headers in the seven games that I played. Which is pretty cool. Just as a little tryout, I wanted to see what he was like, and I was absolutely stunned. That is my best week one upgrades, my top five. Let me know in the comment section down below who are your top five best upgrades from this week. Maybe there's one that I've missed, maybe one that is pretty awesome. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, leave it a like and subscribe for some more for myself. But take care, guys. Have an amazing day, and goodbye.